Stay with me. Butcher, I would like to take just a moment today to enlist your help. Uh, as you may notice uh, or have heard, that the folks in Oklahoma have kind of fallen on hard times in the past few days. We're not just talking about losing a football game, as important as that was. One of the biggest winter storms in recent history has hit Oklahoma the past, in this past week. A lot of people are suffering, and they need your help. They need some blue and orange help. So, well, let's once again show the people of Oklahoma just what kind of classy fans we have here in Idaho. Dig deep and contribute whatever you can to the Red Cross for disaster relief in Oklahoma. You'll see the Red Cross has a station over here by the Ford building. So uh, if you can, give what you can, stop by, and while you're at it, keep the Idahoans that are less fortunate right here at home in mind. Which I appreciate it. We know Oklahoma will appreciate some blue and orange health, and so, so will the Idahoans. Uh, now, Butch, let's get on with the show. Whereas, the Boise State University football team, the Broncos, achieved a perfect season with a record of 13-0. Athletic Conference Champions. Whereas the Broncos were able to defeat the big, their Big 12 rivals, the Oklahoma University Sooners, in overtime at the Fiesta Bowl. Through sheer force of will, dedication, creativity, skill, teamwork, athleticism, and courage. And whereas through their stirring victory at the Fiesta Bowl, completing an undefeated season, the Broncos have represented not only their excellent athletic program, but also the dedication, courage, and commitment to excellence found at Boise State University and throughout all of Idaho. Whereas the leadership and individual that he, the innovation that he displayed through the perfect season earned Coach Peterson the Paul Bear Bryant Award as the 2006 National performance of the Fiesta Bowl, it is appropriate to recognize the team's achievements. Now, therefore, I, C.O. Butchotter, Governor of the great state of Idaho, to hereby proclaim the month of January 2007, Boise State University Bronco Football Month. Western Athletic Conference Championship and victory at the Super Bowl. Super Bowl is next!
folks, before I go any further, let's give it up for our police officers, for the organizers, for the band. What a beautiful day to be in the city of Boise. A team and a town come together as one. That is true of this team and this town. What separates Boise State from all the other teams is their courage, their creativity, and their class. And that's what separates the city of Boise as well. It isn't good enough for this team just to make a good showing. And it isn't good enough for this town just to make a good showing. They're not satisfied to be the best in their conference, and we're not satisfied to be the best city of our size. We want to be the very best in the nation. And most of all, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes in football and in life, you simply have to go for two. So Coach Peterson, all of you players, for your courage, for your creativity, and for your class, on behalf of all the citizens of Boise, we thank you today and every day from this day forward. And to you, the citizens of Boise, for the classy way that you celebrated this victory, this victory, your mayor is very, very proud of you. cheer for all of you. <laughs> this is not a cheer you're going to hear in Norman, Oklahoma or Tallahassee, Florida. Because to do this cheer, you have to learn, learn one word of past. These cheerleaders are going to help me out. And the word is gonna. G-O-R-A, gonna. It means up with. Let's try it out three, everybody ready? One, two, three, go to All right, I'm going to say go to Boise, go to Coach Peterson, and go to Boise State. And after each of those, with the help of our cheerleaders, I want to hear you say go to so loud you can hear it in Glendale. All right, everybody ready? Go to Boise! Thank you. 
you, Bronco Nation, for the incredible support you have provided this team week in and week out all season long. Right on to that great undefeated season and that fantastic Fiesta Bowl victory. Congratulations to you. What a day. What a season. Ladies and gentlemen, this week, the United States Congress convened, and among less important matters, they talked about Boise State University football team. And our own Congressman Mike Simpson led that discussion, and Senators Grapo and Gray and Congressman Sally joined in as they discussed the incredible face that this football team put on the state of Idaho, on the city of Boise, on Boise State University, for this entire nation to see. And the words been mentioned before, but it deserves repeating. Class. Class is shorthand for determination for tenacity, for grit, for creativity, for courage, for never giving up. The hundreds of emails we've received have credited these young men behind me for teaching life's lessons to this entire nation, and that's what they've done. And they've done one other thing, and, and I hope they take this with them and bury it deeply in their hearts and in their memories for a long time to come. This team, these incredible players and their coaches, led by Coach Peterson and the outstanding staff, they have positioned Boise State University for greatness in everything we do. support from this great state, from our governor and our mayor who actually joined us there at the fight, our state legislators and our constitutional officers, our mayors from across the region, and each and every one of you. It's so important to have your support. But well, we've started something here, folks. The words called Dynasty, these are the guys that created it. They're going to take it with them through the rest of their lives, and it's our job to make sure we pay it forward we continue the great tradition, the great dynasty we've got going here at Boise State University. Go Bronco Nation! Go Bronco! Championship, 
an overtime victory against Oklahoma in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, an undefeated 13-0 record. Bravo Nation, I present the winner of this year's Paul Bear Bryant National Coach of the Year Award, Coach Chris Peterson.
We just want to say thank you. We, we bleed blue and orange, and we're going to stay that way forever with your, with your help and support. Go Broncos. Six years ago, with your support and with your enthusiasm and urging, we moved into the Western Athletic Conference, a conference that plays some of the best competition in the country. In six years, this football team has amassed a 45 and 3 record. today, it is noteworthy to recognize that Boise State won the Commissioner's Cup for the best all-around athletic program in the WAC this past year. <laughs> Representing the conference today is its commissioner and a Boise State alum, Carl Benson. Thank you. Thank you very much, team. Back on November 25th, when the Broncos beat Nevada to finish this regular season 12 and all and to win their fifth straight black championship, I ruffled some feathers when I made the statement that BSU had replaced BYU as the WAC's most dominant team in history. the Broncos beat Oklahoma, I made the statement that it was the best win in WAC history on the biggest stage in front of the biggest audience, and that January 1, 2007 would go down in history as the most, as the finest moment in WAC history. And it's a privilege for me to be here today to declare this team the greatest football team in WAC history. <laughs> Coach Peterson, on behalf of the other eight WAC member universities, I congratulate you, your assistant coaches, your staff, and most of all, the players behind me, the 2006 Broncos, WAC champions, Fiesta Bowl champions, you've made history, you will now be remembered forever as part of Boise State history and WAC history. Congratulations, go Broncos! Thank you, Carl. Joining us today from warm and sunny Arizona are three representatives from the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. These three individuals were our team liaisons for a week down in Glendale earlier this year, and they did a phenomenal job with this football team and with taking care of us. I want to publicly thank all of the bowl officials and volunteers for their tremendous outpouring of hospitality and their first class operation. The three amigos that are with us today, Andrew Carey, Tyler Hansen, and Wes Freed. Andrew, Tyler, and Wes have brought us a special reminder of our time in the Valley of the Sun. And I would ask them to come up and present to the governor, the mayor, the president, and to Coach Pete the trophy that 
symbolizes the champions of the Tostitos Festival. Thank you for coming out and sharing this most historic moment. 